So what is it? Well, pulley one is just a pulley. Um, it's not a traditional looking pulley for sure, but it has uh, side plates, it has a rotating wheel, and the rotating wheel sits on a bearing, a bearing, a premium bearing, so that we're, we're highly efficient. And the idea is, is that the connector just clips directly into the main axle. So you almost have a one piece device for when you're fitting rope into it. So it's not like a traditional pulley. Traditional pulley like this one, where you'd have to rotate the side plates to get to fit the rope into it. So disconnect the carabiner, fit the rope into it, reconnect the carabiner. You've got things in two hands, you're trying to fit the rope, got potential for dropping, that sort of thing. The idea with this one is it's effectively just a one-piece system. So unclip from your from your harness, put the rope in directly in or can be done with one hand. Now the other thing about the pulley one is that it's uh, it's quite small, uh, it's lightweight but it's super strong. So we've got a 36 kilonewton braking strength on this pulley. In addition to that we've also got the wheel and bearing has been designed so that uh, it will always rotate even uh, under a load of a minimum of 200 kilograms. Now the other cool thing is that um, uh, we can design this in solid colours, as you can see this one which is a grey colour, or uh, we can quite fairly uniquely design these in halves um, so they can be custom colours. So we designed this one in the, the pink and the lime green for tree punk, um, which looks really cool, uh, and we can offer those in uh, different, uh, very reasonable MOQs. So again, um, let's look at the, the main uses of the pulley one. Uh, and of course, mostly these can be used as a really, really simple redirect pulley. And again, the idea is it can all be done one-handed. Um, so once I've taken that off my carabiner rack, open it up, click it onto whatever your anchor point is. Yeah. And then when you want to bring the rope across to redirect it, again, just simple one-handed application, fit the rope in slots into the pulley wheel and you're done. The other application we envisage these being used for is uh, in mechanical advantage systems or even double redirects. So you can, if you use the K20 carabiner, um, fit two pulleys onto one carabiner. The other advantage here is that we created the uh, cutouts in the side plates uh, and what that enables us to do is be able to open up the gate fully to be able to uh, clip it into things or put the rope in. So uh, if we take that configuration, put it into an anchor point, and then bring across the two ropes, exactly the same as before, just a one-handed operation, put the rope in, and then there's your double redirect. So the other thing we can do with this is create simple mechanical advantage systems and of course again uh, the main feature of these is because the carabiner is always connected into the pulley uh, it's a really simple uh, process of, of fitting the ropes into it. So for example we fit that into our anchor point and then we take our rope and we fit that into the pulley system Bring that up again into the carabiner. All right, then we want to add in a, a lower pulley. Again, it's really simple one hand onto the rope. All right, and then we have a little two to one. So uh, we built a little two to one mechanical uh, advantage system. Uh, can we easily convert that into a three to one? Well, yes, we can. Um, just need to add a few pulleys into the system so we can add this one into here. And then if we take that out of there and connect it into that one. And then put that into there. And then we have a little three to one. Nice and simple.
So the other advantage with the pulley one is that, um, again, we can create mechanical advantage systems as we talked about, and here's a different way of building a three to one. Um, and in this case, we've actually put two pulleys into one carabiner, like we talked about earlier. The really good advantage with this one is, is that um, because the pulleys are so small, you can actually create uh, a mechanical advantage system with a really low headroom. So one of the other benefits of using pulley one is that the internal apertures uh, perfectly suitable for carabiners, but also um, it's sized so that you can thread a rope through it, not directly to it, even with a, a decent bend radius. And what that means is that uh, if it, when you create a mechanical advantage system and you want to use it with a, uh, a particularly short headroom, this is absolutely perfect. So let's just see how that goes together. So you can see from that, if we're using that off, say, a tripod or a davit, we can pull the load up really, really close to the anchor point within something like 10 or 12 inches. So, okay, we've built the pulley ones into a mechanical advantage three to one system. Uh, what we haven't had yet uh, built into this is a braking system or a progress capture system. So, uh, I've got my glamorous assistant, Adam, otherwise known as our technical expert. He's going to uh, fit a 8mm prusset cord yeah, eight mil. in what configuration? Uh, standard six wrap compression. Uh, and what we're going to do with this is uh, we're going to uh, anchor it directly onto the wire sling um, so it's independently anchored. The other thing we noticed with this as well is that um, we have two pulleys in the carabiner and um, if you colour code them, it makes it easier for you to identify which rope to attach the prusset cord onto. Alright, take it away. Alright, so that's all set up. So we can now lift away. Okay, and you can see that even though the pulleys are not a traditional prusset minding shape, they still mind the prusset knot really well. So, um, the other uh, advantage we thought with the pulley one is because you can fit the rope in and out so easily, um, when you're using a, a reef system um, with several pulleys, you should just be able to fit the rope in really quickly. Set the whole thing up in line and eventually feed the rope back through the progress capture device. Now we're looking at using the pulley one in combination with the RD2 descender. Uh, we've built a little two to one system using the Beckett on the RD2, which again just for easy lifting and lowering. So then what we could also do is um, we could swap that out and create a three to one, but exactly in exactly the same type of combination but easily just adding another pulley into the system. And the length four, what we could do to reduce the headroom, we could always knot that rope directly into the pulley to reduce the headroom a little bit. 